707 now earlier this week we told you about angels for animals gigantic garage sale today is the last day for the 26th annual garage sale first news reporter brooke Meanahan is live at the sale this morning with all the goodies that they have left brooke yeah good morning connor gigantic is definitely an understatement when talking about this garage sale we're just in one out of six different rooms today i'm here with diane les the founder of angels for animals who which this is for for people who have never been out here this is the 26th year for you guys what exactly is that gigantic garage sale? Well, it's got everything and anything, and members of the community have brought all this great stuff out here to help our shelter. This is our biggest fundraiser of the year. We usually have it in April, so it's a little bit strange, but we really need the help. You know, animals situation is worse than ever because of our situation. And unfortunately, most of the other shelters are not doing what they would even normally do. And then the animal load is bigger. So more than ever, we need this. And um, everybody that comes out here needs to understand that all these items are donated and every dollar goes to help the animals. This is for our general fund. This is to pay for medicine and veterinarian care. And this translates into saving lives. I mean, it's really important. We are getting 30 to 40 uh, cats a day left out at the shelter. And we'd really like to save, you know, as many of them as we can. And it costs about $400 to save a cat. If we, once we do all its health care and house it for uh, two to four months, feed it, take care of it, and so we get to a successful adoption, we get a $100 adoption fee back, that's still a lot of money, you know. So it's very expensive to save animals, very wonderful, but very expensive. Absolutely. All right, you got a little uh, picture of what they have here in this room. Like I said, there's six different rooms we're going to be hopping around uh, here this morning, and we'll show you everything they have to offer on their last day. For now, reporting live in Canfield, Brooke Meanian at First News Sunday morning.